Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Clockworks, inspiring creativity with art on fabric. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. P&B, our fabrics, your lifestyle. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. Quilty. Hello and welcome to Quilty. Thanks for watching. Today is a guest episode and we are welcoming a very special quilt celebrity to the Quilty set. Let's take a look. Welcome to Quilty and welcome back, Marianne Fons. It's great to be here, Mary. So I, just have to, I have to clap when oh, you come on the set, Mom. It's wonderful to be together. Well, and it's a special day because it is actually, in fact, Mother's Day. So it's, nice. Yes, it's uh, early May. We're taping this episode in early May here in uh, in, oh, in 11, 2011. Yes. Mother's Day 2011, and you're here, and I couldn't ask for more to have my mom with me on yes. Mother's Day. It's it's like, it's our it's our message. So with your mom, so with your daughter. Exactly. It's fun. And it's a big day, too, because this is the first episode we've ever done on Quilty where we're not doing an actual quilt block or a quilt project. We're doing a, a little something a little bit different for this special episode, and you've brought in it's a, a project. It's a little departure, and I thought it'd kind of be fun. And I hope your viewers like these little projects too, but mm -hmm. you know, I mainly make quilts with cotton fabric, mm -hmm. just like you all are learning on Quilty, mm -hmm. but a lot of quilt shops sell uh, wool mm -hmm. for wool applique, and quilters like little wool things, yes. and you know, you grew up with little wool doodads. I love it. We, and we had these um, hanging sort of ornament things on the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. on doorknobs sometimes around the house. There weren't tons of them, but they were always so cute, like little, little, little folk art hearts. Folk art hearts, yes. Little so wool. I made up some folk art hearts. I love it. And, and we're going to teach you to make one of these yourself today on the show. And there's two ways you can go. This one that's uh, to the left, it, you can actually open and you can put a little gift or something in there. And there's a, there's a type really of wool sweet. product, a, a, a wool penny rug that are from the 1900s. Mm -hmm. And they had these little applique circles all over them. And these are with the blanket stitch, which is, I mean, sometimes you need a little hand project because it's sort yeah. of relaxing to have something to take along. Absolutely. And then this kind has a little stuffing in it. So, you know, this is the kind that you can hang on the hang on the tree or hang on I the love door. it because it's been such a long winter I'm really drawn toward the yellow heart and so I hope we can make a yellow heart today because it's, it's springtime yeah. it's like a May basket a May day right. basket you don't need instructions you don't need a pattern nope. because uh, what I did mm -hmm. was just take a piece of freezer paper yep. and fold it in half and that's just freezer paper you get at the store right. nothing special right you get a huge roll of it for I don't know how much it's your last whole dollars. lifetime probably yeah. and then I just drew a heart you know and I drew kind of a I'm not going to probably do a very good one right now but I just drew a kind of a long gated heart you know just like anyone would fold in half and then I cut it out and I got a heart I hope everybody can see like this. a valentine I'll do it darker you know and then you get a symmetrical heart pattern like that so and you can use your you can use your fab the scissors you have at your sewing mm -hmm. your sewing table for this because the paper's so thin it's right. fine you know right. you always taught me not to cut anything you know anything this won't ruin your scissors okay for, you know, or you can pick up your other scissors but the neat thing about freezer paper is because of the the waxy side mm -hmm. Uh, is um, it's not really wax, but it, it's anyway when you heat it, it will kind of adhere temporarily. So I've got this beautiful. I don't want. I don't want to waste my beautiful hand dyed wool. So yeah. I'm going to go over to the corner, and I can just. In fact, I'd actually probably do it like this. There you go. And just press it, so it adheres to my wool, and then I could either draw around it mm -hmm. and cut that, or I could cut right around that and then peel it right off. Now, you're not going to leave a seam no. allowance? No, and that's yeah. what's beautiful is, you know, all our quarter inch seams, this is one time where you just don't even You don't deal even with need it. it. You're free. Because it's wool felt, and it's, right. it is not going to fray like cottonwood. Right. So we would cut that out. Right. And then also, you notice that we have a little penny coin. Let's on take that. another look at this. Right. Yeah, there's this little, the little penny coin, the blue, and then this button, and we'll get button. to the button too. So uh, instead of uh, making a pattern for mm -hmm. that circle, I happen to have a little artist template, or you could use a spool of thread. I know we're going to cut out of the blue, but I yes. just so you can see the right. the little artist template. I'm going to put it yeah. on the yellow. Yeah. Or you could use a spool of thread or a sure. coin or just anything. And so for my blue, what I did was pick out the size. And for this, I even actually, and here's one where I've actually drawn. I actually, you know, rather than using chalk or something that was going to snag on that wool, I use this big fat magic marker because I can cut, I can see that line and then turn it over. You're never going to see those lines. That's so it's, great. It's all very forgiving. Yes, okay? that's nice. That's really so, nice. So once I have my little heart that's mm -hmm. the front of my project, and your little and my penny. Little penny. 
I just kind of, and it's folk art, so if it's not centered, it's even better. That's even better. Okay. It's got that rustic okay. look. And I want to point out that we're using wool applique needles. We have some here. They're special needles for this, and they have a really, it's, they're pretty thick. Mm -hmm. And we'll get the camera to be able to get that. Right. They're pretty thick, and they have a, a big pretty large eye eyes. Because mm -hmm. we're using pearl cotton, which is a beautiful thread uh, with sheen. This and is, this is that's broad. Me, that's me. This is Spons crazy lady. <laughs> but if you can't find this kind, it's a, yeah. a cruel embroidery. Cruel. Not cruel like Cruella de Vil, like but, cruel. but like C R E W E L. Yeah. Yeah. C R E W E L. Okay, so yeah. the neat thing about putting the little coin on, and I might put one of my pins just to. I think I'll just hold it with my finger, is that you come up from the back, and this is a blanket stitch, so Make sure if, you, Josh if can get you, in there. you can watch this over and over, or you could go online and just look up blanket stitch, or in any sewing book, but I've come straight up, see, mm -hmm. okay? And then I take my stitch, and I just make sure that that thread is behind. And you're going in just, what is oh. that, like a eighth of an inch? Yeah, and it, they don't even have to be quite the same because it's folk art, it doesn't right. matter. So see, that that locks that in. Mm, so I good. go around counterclockwise. The other people do it different ways, but you know, once you get going, you just keep going. Mm -hmm. And all I gotta do, every time I stitch, I just come out right on the edge of that mm -hmm. little dot, and I make sure that my thread is behind. Mm -hmm. I just go all the way around, and then I make a knot behind. So I get my little coin on like that. So, I made a little knot behind. So cute. Okay. And then you join your two pieces right. together. Right. I put my two together, and that's where I might, and we can actually mm -hmm. move that Great. one. Because just for, oh, I put my button on next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's easier to sew this when they're not joined. Sure, you okay. sew the button on, and, and you were telling me that, you know, when you buy clothes at the department store, you always get extra buttons. I well, never use them, use I, them for anything. <laughs> not even one time, so you've got, a lot of ladies have a lot of these extra buttons hanging around in a in a jar or in some sort mm -hmm. of box. Well, it's a perfect opportunity to use one of these mm -hmm. buttons for this project. And this one is bigger than the other one I used, but it would be cute if you can I get that do it open. There we go. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger. But it'd you be might, cute. Yeah, it's uh, cute. Or, or make your circle, it just, there's no rules on this thing, it's right. fun. Okay, so once you sew your button on, because it'd be easier to right. do. Okay, and then for the project that's open, I, I, I pin it together here. Mm -hmm. And the thing I want to point out that's a little different when you're when you're not sewing something onto something, mm -hmm. you got to sew around. Mm -hmm. Is I'm going to start over here on an easy side, and I'm going to kind of fake it because I want to kind of like come up from the back because mm -hmm. it's different than when you're sewing a piece to another piece. Right. But it's the same stitch. Mm -hmm. So I've got blue thread here, nice, and I just make sure that that line, that the thread, the, slack, the needle comes in front, right? Okay, the needle comes in front of the slack mm -hmm. of your thread, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you miss it, you just pull it out and right. go back and do it. It's over. easy. So that's really nice. That and so, fun? so, so on this, so the the finished the finished one mm -hmm. that we're doing here is left open, uh, right? So, so I had to sew across the right. top, and then you know just start and stop, and then right. we made a little hanger, mm -hmm. a little bit of that, just yeah. that pearl cotton, just one yeah. strand for one that's stuffed, and this could be a little pin cushion or one of those little door hanger mm -hmm. uh, things. You would just stuff it, cotton balls, stuffing. Right. You got to stop and stuff it, and then go the of course, rest of the way. Of course, but you know this one's nice because it's open, and you can put little gifts yeah. in there. I we can give this to you. Uh, you give it to me, and then I'll give it to you for Mother's Day. But I'll put a little something in it for you. Let's see. I'm excited, like a like a Nordstrom's gift card or a or five dollars, which is what I have in my pocket. Uh, you can have that, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, and we can go out and buy a cup of coffee and share it. Happy Mother's <laughs> oh, Day, Mom. Oh, There's a card honey. in here too. Oh, Love thank you, you so for much. having me back as a guest. I had a great time. It's awesome to have you. Thanks, Mom. I've Let's go get some coffee. I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Clothworks, inspiring creativity with art on fabric. Havels Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havels. EMB, our fabrics, your lifestyle. Quiltology, the urban quilt space.